Hello, hello. Oh, oh, I do apologize. I'm having a problem with my tripod this morning. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. It's Kate Bolt, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK for another Fun Friday Live. Good morning to you. It's a gorgeous day here in Buckinghamshire. It's absolutely beautiful, which is such a change from the last week. Since I've been back from holiday, we've had nothing but rain and miserable weather. So it's beautiful to see the sun. Right, I've just got my laptop out. I'm just gonna have a look, check that I'm live. And also it means that I can see if there are any comments and if there are throughout the live, I can respond to them a lot more easily on there. Yes, let's have a little look. Here we go. Ah, oh, welcome to anybody who might join me live. I'll just wait a minute and see if anybody hops on. Um, I'm gonna be making um, a birthday card with you this morning for our fun Friday. It's been quite a week. It really has. Um, it's been a great, it's been a great week. So um, yeah, here we go. So I thought today we would make um, a birthday card. Now I have a lot of birthday cards coming up this month. And um, I thought I'd better crack on. I've been concentrating on Christmas cards, but of course, throughout the year, we all have birthdays to uh, to send, don't we? So I thought we'd do that. And uh, yeah, I also decided that I would use some of the beautiful in colours that we have this year. Hi, Helen. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. That was so lovely. Let me just see. I can't see the comments on my laptop, but I can see them through my phone. Why is that? <laughs> oh, hang on, here we go. It says things here, really interesting things. It says, you can now pin a message to the top of your live chat. Okay, don't need to do that. Technology, eh? Oh, good morning, Samantha. Thank you for joining me. Right, okay, so a lot of you may know that I am in love with this charming sentiment stamp set. I like to stamp a sentiment for my cards and I like to cut around it. It's like a little bit of fussy cutting. But when they brought this one out in the um, catalogue, I was thrilled because it has a sentiment uh, die set. So I don't really mind the fussy cutting. I'm not um, bothered at all by that. Quite enjoy it, but I don't like doing it all the time. And I know a lot of people don't like it at all. So I was really impressed when they brought out this die set that goes around all of these and leaves that little lovely white border so it looks like, it's, well, it's been die cut. So I use this a lot and you may have seen me using it and that's the primary purpose I bought it for and I didn't realise until I received it that you get all these other extras with it too. So you get a birthday candle, birthday candle, and there's the background to the birthday candle. Um, you've got all sorts, you've got a little ray of light, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's a firework or maybe it's more light beams. You've got flowers and a stalk and you've got your candle flame. Um, you've got some dots to make perforations with. They're rather useful. And then you've got these, these cut out individual hearts and stars and then a solid heart and star. So, so useful. And so I thought you know, we need to get the most out of our stamps and dies at the moment, right? And I thought we're going to use these candles to make a birthday card and then we're going to use the stamp and the sentiment to put the sentiment on it so let's go let's do this right so i've also got another little tip for you um somebody had shared this tip with me a few years ago um so i'm not sure if i've shared it before i've got this little tray i've put in some of the um Oh, my dies are stuck to the bottom. I've put in some of the die cuts that I've cut out in preparation for this live in here, which is really useful, but that's not actually the use for it. I've just put those in there because the, they're little. The use for this is a magnetic tray and it's primarily sold for people, uh, I think for people who are doing like DIY or working like that. Um, you can buy them in hardware stores and things like that. It's a magnetic tray, so you can put your screws in it okay so don't lose your screws when you're working but i think this is fantastic for putting small dies in so when you are crafting and you've got these tiny tiny little dies like this flame one you don't want to lose it pop it in your magnetic tray and then it's not going anywhere and if you are a demonstrator or somebody who runs classes 
you can take out the ones you need and just put them in the tray and then you can't lose them or at least you know you haven't got the whole set out and they're not easily lost amongst a lot of people on the floor or wherever you've got them there so little tip little tip for you so my dog just let himself in <laughs> let's shut the door Alfie always comes in for the live. He loves to join us on uh, all, both my lives in the week. He loves to be in here. So, right, I thought we would start off with a basic white card base. So my usual size is a C6. That's an A4 piece of cardstock cut in half and scored in half. So I cut it in half at 14.8 um, and I scored it in half at 10.5. And then I've got, that makes two. And then I have got um, a piece that is slightly smaller. Oh, actually, I need to trim that because I changed my mind on the size. And I've gone for my normal, regular size, which is, for my first layer, which is 10 centimetres by 14.3. So it's literally half a centimetre smaller on two sides. And they're both in white. The card base, this light isn't very good, is it? The card base is in thick, basic white cardstock. Gives it a little bit more rigidity for your card. I feel it's, I just feel it's a bit more, it's a bit nicer. I'm just gonna angle my light because it's playing up and swiveling all over the shop, not where I want it to be. <laughs> and it won't move, where's that? Oh, it's got jammed, that's fine. Hmm. Okay, let's go for that, see if that works. Tell me what it's like. I don't really want a huge amount of shadow going on. Hope that's okay. Alrighty, so. Bring it in. There we go. Go. If you guys could see the amount of equipment we have on our desks when we do a live, you'd be surprised, I'm sure. All right, so we have got our layer, our, our uh, card base. So what I thought I would do is I brought in some more dies as well. You don't have to, you can make this card as a normal card, but I really have had these basic border dies quite a while. I've only played with them a handful of times and they are so beautiful. I wanted to play with them. So they come, you have all these border dies to make edges and borders on your cards and projects. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six in there. And I think I am going to go with the one that I used when I tried out to make my card sample for today. Although this one is rather beautiful. Um, shall I go for that one for a change? Yeah, I'll go with that one and then I will show you the original. This one is nice, by the way. It almost looks like the edge of a envelope. Okay, so let's pop those away so don't lose them. Now, what I did was I popped it through my Stampin' Up! Cut and Emboss machine. The first thing I did to make this card, now that is the right way, and I get it like this, line it up as you normally would have your card, like so, like that, and then, I'm just seeing I had any comments on it, and then I'm gonna put, put this on the bottom, so I want it to cut through the layers. So I'm going to line this up with the bottom of my layer. I'm going to grab a piece of washi tape and then I'm going to pop it through my machine. So you just want to make sure it's central, which is pretty easy because you just line up. It's symmetrical. Good morning, Carol. Thank you for joining me. You're not late, my lovely. You're just perfect. <laughs> Right, I'm going to stick it this way because then the edge piece that gets cut off, if it sticks a bit hard, it doesn't matter. Right, I'm going to pop that through there. I'm just going to jump over the dog. <laughs> What's going on, Alfie? Oh, goodness. It's got to go through two layers. There we are, didn't really want to do that, but it went just fine in the end. 
Oh, it might be because I had it upside down. <gasps> I probably just cut straight through my cutting my cutting plate. How ridiculous. But you can see how it's embossed it, look. <laughs> I had my die upside down, guys. How did I do that? Literally, how did I do that? What happened there? Let's do this again. Right, how silly I am. Have you ever done that? Right, let's do that again. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. Pop it back in. Stick it down again. So I can just line it up where it kind of embossed itself. And pop it back through. <laughs> no wonder it didn't want to go through. Thought I just haven't had my Weetabix today. There we go. Let's see what it looks like now. This should work. Hopefully it went through both layers. There's the first one. Oh, I didn't want to go through that layer, look. When I did the first card, it went through perfectly well. Um, it is quite an intricate die. It has two lots of stitching. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Thank you for joining me. Um, so I think it's probably better done each layer with this one. The other one I did, I did it um, in one shot. But you can bet your bottom dollar, if you do something live, it won't be the same. <laughs> right, let's pop that through. There we go. There we go. Which is what we want. And we're left with this bit of rubbish that we don't need. You can keep if you want. Clearly. Right. Okay, so we have got this beautiful card edge. How pretty is that? It's so lovely. And then I've got the one, the piece that goes on the top as well. So I'm going to put that on the top. And it does have a slight border around it. So you can see why I've got it on there. Okay. And then we're going to have a bit of fun with some sponging. Right. Not sponging. I've got my blending brushes. If you haven't got these blending brushes, what's going on? Because how do you live without them? <laughs> Honestly, these are the best things for um, inking. So good. Anything you want. I'm looking for my ink pad. So I think I am going to go with Parakeet Party. Another one because I made my sample just now and I used this beautiful one, which is Tahitian Tide, my favorite color. But I'm gonna go for this pretty green, and I have washed this one, it is clean, they do stain a little bit, not too badly though. I must have used Parakeet Party on that one in the past, right? So, this is the fun bit. This is the fun bit. I'm fine, Amanda. I'm absolutely fine, thank you. I've had such a good week. It's been amazing. Um, you probably saw, or you might not, I don't know. Um, but it was the Stampin' Up! recognition um, this week. Basically, they um, published the recognition for achievements over the last Stampin' Up! year. Stampin' Up! year goes from um, the 1st of October to the 30th of September. So it's from September 2021 to September 2022. And I was absolutely thrilled that I got um, recognised for level two in leadership and level one in team building. Um, absolutely didn't expect that. It's been a really tough year for everyone. So I was so, so thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled. And thank you to all of you guys because every time you engage with me on my lives or watch my lives, like or share or comment, or if you're a customer and you purchase from me, it all helps that. Thank you so much because it helps build my little business. So I am just um, taking some of the ink from the ink pad onto the brush, taking a bit of it off so it's not too harsh and blobby. And then just swirly motion to create this nice hazy 
greeny color which i really really like yeah and then i also had a hu huge achievement this week as well which i'm thrilled about so i promoted in my stampin up business to silver elite which is a goal i've been working towards for a very long time so i'm very grateful to my team and everybody for helping me get there this has been quite a week because we're also very excited because we're all going to a stampin up convention uh next week in Vienna so a lot of us are going I'm going and I'm super excited <laughs> so there's loads of stamping up excitement going on in the stamping up world this week I have cut out some of these candles from those dies and I've cut one out in this um, parakeet party one in the Tahitian Tide and one in the sweet sorbet now these are all of the 2022 in colors um all coming from that colour family. There's five in colours, actually. Right, and we've got two other dark blues that go in there. But I'm using these pretty kind of party colours. I thought they'd be great for a birthday card. And I've cut out the negative. So if I show you these dies again, we've got this one that I've used to cut out the coloured candle. And this is like the negative from the white. And then I cut out some in Daffodil Delight, these tiny little flames. So we're just going to glue them together. But it's a beautiful day here. Tell me what the weather's doing with you guys. Amanda, it's probably hot and sunny because she's in Spain and it's probably beautiful there, hopefully. So I'm just popping a little bit of liquid glue. We do have the sticky sheets that you can use for die cutting as well. That would be quite useful with these small ones because you literally die cut with it and then you peel it off and it's already adhes adhesive on the back. So that would have been useful. Didn't think of that when I cut it out. <laughs> so we've got that one. I hope you've all got fun plans for the weekend. There we are, there's the green one. And coming in with the Tahitian Tide. My favourite colour. I've got a Biko in this colour. Stamping up cell, like these glittery, um, these those nice big kind of cups you can get with the lids on. Um, they're available for everyone, not just demos. And I got it in the glittery Tahitian Tide. It's so nice. Such a summery colour, isn't it? Right, there we go. So we've got three candles. Maybe I should have four candles. <laughs> Just, I'm so sorry. If you're British uh, and of a certain generation, you'll understand the joke behind four candles. But I'm, I'm not. I'm not having four candles. I'm going for three. <laughs> Oh, sorry, guys. Tell me if any of you understand the four candles joke, because then I won't feel so alone. Oh, Mandy, you, you got it, did you? <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, Honestly, these things occur to me, and I just... My mother would say to me, little things, please, little minds. And she's not wrong. <laughs> I get amused by the smallest things. Oh, Right, candles, flames going on. Oh, it's lovely and sunny there, is it, Amanda? But it's blowing a howling gale. Oh, that's not so good. 24 degrees. Well, if it's 24 degrees but windy, can you get some washing out or something? <laughs> um, oh, Sam, you got the four candles joke. You're right, nothing comes close to that, that old-fashioned, you know, silly kind of very innocent humour that we used to have. Honestly, there we go. They were brilliant, weren't they? So I have three candles, not four candles. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to pop this on here. And I'm going to put my candles on in a minute, but I'm just going to show you they're going to go on here. I don't know which way around, but it doesn't matter. on here like this and then we're going to use the stamp set that goes with these dies so I'm going to put this out of the way 
and um, grab a piece of basic white. I should have a piece. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to use the same colour as I used for the ink. So I'm going to use a little bit of Parakeet Party. Now, when this first came out, the ink colours, for some weird reason, they are only available in 12 by 12 cardstock. So I've got a lot of it. And I'm quite glad because I use a lot of it. Um, it goes that beautiful teacup suite that we have as well. Um, but obviously you can get it in the, a, in the A4 card. Right, let's grab a piece. I've got so much. Um, but I like the 12 by 12 because it's quite versatile for making boxes and scrapbooking pages. So, yeah, don't forget that you can get our cardstock in 12 by 12. Um, not the individual colours, but you, the colour families, you can just purchase it in a pack, which is really useful because you get a few sheets of each. Right, what am I doing? I am grabbing this gorgeous stamp from this set. You can get this set, by the way, as a bundle. If you buy the Charming Sentiment stamps and this as a bundle, you save 10%. So it's definitely worth it. And it's got so many good sentiments in it. So it's got a thank you. It's got the birthday that we're using. It's got a baby, so tiny, so precious. And babies are a blessing. Beyond grateful. Super fantastic mega news and woohoo. I like that. Uh, hey there. Um, good luck. Not that you need it. Faith over fear. What's new? Because you totally deserve it. I love that one. Wishing you everything wonderful because you totally deserve it. And everything will be okay. Yeah. It's got all of them, all of the all of the things you need. Right, so I thought just to make this sentiment pop a little bit, I'd emboss it. So I've got my little em, em, ugh, my words aren't working. Embossing additions kit. So it's got the tray. Let's take these things out. It's got the tray, it's got the tweezers, these are really cool, and it's got the um embossing buddy and it's got the brush. So let's move that out of the way and we're gonna stamp with Versamark, that sentiment, in the middle of this scrappy bit here. And I've already popped it up on a block. I need a new Versamark. Honestly, this was about, I don't know, six years old? Considering I use all my things, it's not just me. I use them for classes and all sorts. Um, it's done me proud. <laughs> have a new one on the way. Right. I'm going to do it in the middle a little bit so that I've got room for the die to go around it. Oh, I didn't use my embossing buddy. I'm going to do it again because it's. I always regret it. Always. Because this little bag of loveliness contains kind of a, like a cornstarch powder, if you like. And it gets rid of any greasy finger marks or anything there. You might not be able to see any oils that come off your fingers. That the embossing powder sticks to where you don't want it to go. And when I forget to use it, I always go, oh, no, I should have done that. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one. Right, happiest of birthdays. And then I'm going to bring in the tray. Super useful. And the white embossing powder. And do you know what? I'm going to make a ton of these birthday cards because I've got some lovely, uh, some lovely friends with birthdays this month and so cool because it's got a little screwy end so it'll all stay inside but then when you want it to go back in So the dog's been watching out of the window whilst we've been crafting. And he can see a neighbour's dog and he's going for it. But um, he wants, he's wagging his tail. He wants to go out there and play with this, with this dog. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it, but he does. So I do apologise for all the madness. Right, so we have got the embossing powder on the card and we're just going to heat it with a heat tool now. Grab that. <laughs> he's a good guard dog. He's a good guard dog, but honestly, he's a soft soap. <laughs> so you'll see it change. It's a bit noisy with a heat gun. 
but you'll see it change. So I've, I've uh, used the white embossing powder on top of the stamped image. And I'm just going to heat it up and it'll do that lovely thing where it goes all white and glossy, which is lovely. It's even better when you use like a silver or a gold or a copper. Hi, Anthony. Thank you for joining us today. How are you? I hope you're not working too hard. You just missed my dog going absolutely bonkers. Naughty boy, really. <laughs> he won't not come in and join in and then he looks out of the window and decides that he wants to go and play with a dog that's going for a walk. Okay, so from the sentiment silhouette dies, we're going to use this one that cuts out this one that we've stamped. Brand. Ooh. Honestly, sometimes he looks out the window and barks, <laughs> barks at some fresh air. Did you say working too hard? Never. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not true. I know. Let's get a new piece of washi. Let's push the boat out. <laughs> He's such a naughty doggy. Right. Happy birthday. So, have you guys, this is quite embarrassing, have you guys seen the birthday organiser kit that is new in the kits collection online in Stampin' Up? I love to make cards, you may have noticed. <laughs> Being organised about birthdays, I'm not very good. All right, I've done it, I've, I've confessed up, I am rubbish. So I bought one of these kits and I can't wait. I can't wait for it to come because I'm going to plan out all the birthdays for the year in it. And hopefully then I can't go wrong. Because I'm just rubbish at being organised a bit. And great, I'll have the cards there ready for this actual specific person. But do I remember to send the darn things in time? I am bad at that. So wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Now, what I might do, because that is looking a little bit yellow behind that green. I might put a little bit more on there. What do you think? So I will unbox that with you at some point when that um, kit arrives. So you can see what it is. But I think it's so obviously genius. And so obvious that Stampin' Up! should bring us a birthday organiser kit. I absolutely love the idea. And uh, I may have bought some for Christmas presents for people. <laughs> Certainly not because they're not organised, but because the people I thought of are entirely organised, but would find it quite useful. I hope that makes sense and nobody takes offence. <laughs> okay, so I put a little bit more green on there. We're going to stick on our candles. Just going to line them up so they keep sticking to me because they're a bit gluey and then I'm going to put this over the top wishing you the happiest of birthdays okay so I'm going to make the candles flat because I'm going to raise up the sentiment and the first thing I'm going to do is put the middle candle down and then I can line up the other two either side so So I do tend to send all my birthday cards, but I'm rubbish at getting... My family are okay. My family are good because they're obvious. There's only so many of those. But it's all the, you know, extras that you really want to send cards to. I want to send cards to everybody. <laughs> and I am so rubbish at remembering. There we go. So I'm hoping that November will be the month where I send lots of birthday cards. Oops, sliding around. There we go. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. So nice, isn't it, that sentiment? I'm going to pop that over the top. Now that one's slightly lower. We can't have that. 
There we are. <laughs> and I'm going to raise this one up with the sticky foam pads on the back. And then what I did was I cut one in half. So I don't have a mini at the moment in my reach. So I'm going to put one there. And this half is going to go on the end. So it's not just floating in the breeze. Oh, I could have put the other half there, couldn't I? I don't want that floating in the breeze. <laughs> So he's gone quiet now because he's realised the little doggy across the way that he wanted to play with is now gone. <laughs> so I hope you like the card. If you do or you like anything I've been doing, please give me a thumbs up um, because it really helps the YouTube algorithm suggest uh, these kind of videos to people who might like it. And then that helps me too. So it, it loves a thumbs up or a comment, anything like that. I would really appreciate that. So wishing you the happiest of birthdays on top of there. And then I'm gonna grab in the base and we're gonna pop it together. So simple. Now you could actually make your card base in a different color. Shall I try it? Shall I try it? It might be quite fun. Do I have a piece that's the right size? Let's have a look. So. I need it to be 14.8, don't I? Let's grab my trimmer. I think that's 21, because that's 10.5. So I need it to be 21 across. Now, the reason I'm cutting it weirdly is because this was a part of um, a 12 or 12 sheet of card, not an A4. Oh, look, my trimmer blade just popped out. Good job, it just pops back in. So we want it 21. Is this wide enough? Yeah. And then we're going to score it at 10.5. We'll see what this looks like. And then decide. There needs to be 14.8. Here. I might not be able to do it because I already cut the uh, edge off the bottom and I, it needs to match exactly, so it may not work, but you know, we'll have a little looky-see. <laughs> the blade was very excited to cut that car, so I was so excited it jumped straight out of the um, out of the channel on the trimmer. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, that's funny. So there's that one, like that. Um, or I could try and cut it out, but it's probably not going to match up exactly if I cut it out, is it? Like I've done here. I might try. I'm feeling a bit adventurous. Now, where's the dies? Is it this one? No, it's none of those, is it? What did I do with it? Put it in a place so I couldn't lose it. <laughs> here it is. Here it is, here it is. Right, let's line it up and see what we can do with it. So I've got the dots at the top. Like that. So I think I'll bring it down slightly. That should work. Right, so what I'm going to do is grab a bit of washi. So this is how you salvage it if you change your mind on what colour card base you want. <laughs> and I'm going to stick that around there. And then I'm going to take this one out. Let's make it straight. You never know, it might work. And if it doesn't, we'll go back to plan A. Because there's no rules, are there? Right, let's pop that through. And I will show you the original. There we go. Through it went. Turn that 
wash it off. Oh, that's not doing well. Oh, there we go. Take that one off like that. Don't need that spare piece. Just take that bit away from underneath. There, I think we've salvaged that. Okay, we've still got a bit of washi tape this side. There we go. Let's see if it fits, shall we? <laughs> it's very pretty though, isn't it? Don't you think? So, so pretty. Yeah, it does fit. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. You could um, make it go up higher and actually make it do that. That's really pretty as well, isn't it? But I think I like it like that with just an edge. Which way? Which? What are we going to go for here, guys? That way? I think it looks nice like that. Okay, we're going to go with that because I think I'm going to cover this up at the bottom because I'm going to put a white piece inside. In which case, I am going to cut a smidge off this end so that I can raise it slightly. That's a very technical term, a smidge. Maybe a millimetre or two, two millimetres, maybe. See if that's enough. I think that is enough to make that those dots show. I love it when a plan comes together. Right, let's glue it together. Do, 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 do. Right, glue, where did you go? So. Put that on. So I've been making all my swaps for on stage. Um, a few little pillow gifts for my team friends that I'm going to be with for the week. Oh, look at that. I really like this. I think I prefer this to my original one. Isn't that weird how that happens when you get to do the actual... Um, where's the piece that I cut to go inside? Or maybe I didn't because it was going to be a white card base. Yeah, I think that's the case. So let's cut this piece to go inside. 10 by 14.3. Yes, so I will be posting lots of stuff about the Stampin' Up! event um, on my Instagram, which goes onto my Facebook page as well. Um, you might think, oh, you might not really be that interested in what's going on. Um, and that's obviously, that's fine. But you might find that we, there are lots of things. We get to see the new catalogue and all these kind of things. And there are lots of things that we're not allowed to post in advance because they're kind of, you know, until the catalogue goes live. But there are lots of things that we are allowed to share. Like if we're gifted anything, sometimes they give us little gifts at the um, event sometimes and we're allowed to share all those so which is new goodies coming out of the catalogue hopefully fingers crossed so um yeah check out my instagram you might find some interesting things that i am allowed to share with you um right what i'm looking for now is my wink of stella and i know i got it out here it is so what i'm going to do before i do any more is stamp inside happiest of birthdays to you again Right, I'm just bringing you one card today. I hope that's okay with you guys. Because <laughs> it's taking a little bit longer than we uh, normally would for one card. But just because I've been chatting and having lots of fun and changing up my design. <laughs> Otherwise it gets very long. Right, okay. But I hope you've, uh, you've enjoyed it. And you might think about using this stamp and die bundle because it's more than just a way to cut out those sentiments with all those extra candle dyes and flowers. I think it's gonna, it's such a useful one. So I'm gonna pop that in there and it all coordinates. Let's put some glue on there. Look, that's what I was using that for, <laughs> stamping. I was deciding what colors I was gonna use before I started and how I was gonna emboss and all those things. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. 
Nice. Okay, so that's that. Now, Wink of Stella, here you are. If you don't have Wink of Stella, this is, um, it's like a, oh, hang on, I'm doing it wrong. What am I doing? It's like a glitter shimmer. Can you see that? There. It's like a shimmer, shimmer water brush. Do you see that on my finger? It's not glitter. It just gives you this faint, like, sheen. And it's really subtle and really good for making a nice subtle glimmer on elements of your card. If you, especially if you don't like a lot of glitter and a lot of bling. Um, this is so subtle, but really steps it up a little bit. And I love it. So sometimes I go mad with my Wink of Stella and then I put it away and I don't use it for ages because I forget. But look how cool. I don't know if you can see the shine because of the light, but... That's very cool, isn't it? Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And that's my card for today. Now, I'll show you my prototype. Dog's letting himself back in, which I've not finished. So I do need to finish it. So I used the other, uh, one of the other ink colours for this one. And I used Tahitian Tide. I was telling you about is my favourite one of the new ink colours. Um, I'm just going to clean this stamp off and stamp that as well. And you can see the difference with those decorative border dies and the difference that makes as well using a different one. And I've used it in a slightly different way. Right, okay. Right, happiest of birthdays. Thank you, Helen. That's so kind. You like the green one? Thank you. It's a really pretty green, isn't it? It reminds me of that lemon lime twist we had a few years ago. It was an in colour. It was so, so popular, but couldn't stay around because it was an in colour. I absolutely loved it. Happiest of birthdays. Um, how are my Christmas cards coming along, did you say, Anthony? Oh, well, <laughs> because I do a live twice a week, I'm actually quite pleased because I've been getting to make some lovely Christmas cards on my lives. And you know what? It's like anything, a little bit by little bit by little bit, you get to your goal. And um, I've, I've got a nice little stash growing. So just for being on here and making a few cards, I've got a lovely little stash building. So yeah, give me a little few more weeks and we'll be there, I would say. So this is how I made my original card. I cut the bottom and this one together in exactly the same way as I showed you before. But I've married these two up instead of leaving a gap. And I have used white instead of the um, base colour that I changed my mind to use a base colour with that one. So let's pop this glue on and we'll finish this one as well. And then I have two made already. Yeah, my Christmas cards are coming on. How are yours coming on, guys? So anybody made Christmas cards, do tell me. I know Samantha's been making them. She's been doing some beautiful classes. She's part of my team. And I know she's been doing some fantastic classes with Christmas in. So what about the rest of you? Has anyone else made any Christmas cards? Have you made any, Anthony? Hmm. Slow but steady. It's so lovely though to send so many out spreading the cheer. It is. It's so nice to be able to send Christmas cards, isn't it? It's kind of a big perk <laughs> of Christmas is getting cards through the door. And Sam says she is got she's got a few and you're faffing with more at the moment. Oh, join the club. I faff a lot. Love a good of faff, a good bit of faffing. Anthony says he's got one on its way to me. Oh, Anthony, thank you. I will send you one, I promise. How lovely. Thank you very much. I'm already excited. I should share with you a card that I got. Um, let me see where I have popped it. Let me grab it. Hold on. <laughs> So I was sent this card that I got yesterday. How beautiful. Let's move these ones out of the way. How beautiful is this? 
so gorgeous. Have you seen the new Flitting Florets collection? It's come out this month to customers and it's gorgeous. Now, it's got a Christmas stamp set and die set in it and it's got a regular, if you know what I mean, stamp set and die set in it and it's just beautiful. It's got all these gorgeous papers. So it's one of those sets that's for Christmas and all year round now. My lovely friend Liz sent me this happy mail say congratulations for reaching my promotion with Stampin' Up. How beautiful is that? I love it. And she's used the flitting florets. No, they're not flitting. It's fitting. I don't know why I think they're flitting. <laughs> um, then I have got some others here. Let me show you some to, some to share with you. I've got a lot on my windowsill. So this one, this is gorgeous, isn't it? This was sent to me by my lovely friend and team member, Carol. I organised a team two-day team event last month for them. And we had such a lovely time. And Carol made me this gorgeous card. And she must love me because she's used her best gemstones. <laughs> she's used that gorgeous, uh, the falling leaves embossing folder. How beautiful is that? So Carol sent me this one. My beautiful upline Michelle gave me this card. She sent me this one. How beautiful. And she sent me this one to say thank you for being on her moderating team for her Facebook groups. How nice is that? So beautiful. And this one, you will recognise this because the lovely Sam who's on the call, on the, on, you know, watching at the moment too, she made me this one and gave me this at our team event in October. So beautiful. I love how you've used the vellum on there, Sam. It's so, so pretty. And the twine. You know, I love this linen thread. And then Jen, who's also on my team at the same um, event, she sent me this big, beautiful card using the Ocean Wave Bundle. But she basically um, was said she was so sorry that she'd missed my birthday. And she gave me this card at the event. And I love this stamp. One minute you're young and cool, and the next you're getting excited over new towels. Happy birthday! Which cracks me up. I love it. But how nice. There's nothing nicer, is there, than getting happy mail. So, yeah, I thought I'd share that with you. Yes, so, okay, right. Let's get back to the task in hand. These are the cards that we've made today. I hope you've enjoyed and enjoyed them. And thank you so much for joining me live. Anthony says, it put you all to shame. You need to send a happy mail out. Make a card, send a card. Anthony, the, I had a beautiful card from you not that long ago. Thank you so, so much. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, you're very good at it. I, like I said earlier, I'm very, I find it hard to be organised. So this is my new, my new thing. I have to be organised for sending my cards. Because, um, yeah, make a card, send a card. Not make a card, keep a card. So definitely... Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it today. Thank you for joining me. If you're watching me on re replay, do let me know. Say hello from Tomorrowland. Let me know if you like the cards, which ones you like the most, the green one or the blue one. So that is uh, Parakeet Party or Tahitian Tide, green or blue. Which one do you like the best? I'd love to know. And um, if you like any of the products that I've used in today's video, you can purchase them in my online stop shop at katebolt.stampinup.net and you can find more inspiration over on my blog at inkstampshare.inc. Thank you so much and I will be not live next week. Tuesday for my coffee and cards I'll have a pre-recorded video and on Friday also for Fun Friday because I'll be still in Vienna enjoying the convention so um, but I will be back live the week after. And um, yeah, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and I hope to see you soon. Thank you guys. Thanks everyone. See you soon. Bye bye.